Alright, hello YouTube, and welcome back to some more From the Depths. Um, I'm telekinetically floating in midair. Oh, I suppose, yeah, I don't know if, I go, if I've ever shown you guys. Yeah, that's what we actually look like. We're a little robot suit, which apparently has a person in it, according to the, the image on the council screen, which I never realised we were supposed to have before. Yeah, apparently we're a little person hiding in it. I never realised that before. I always thought it was like a uh, like a drone. I guess we're close? Hang on. Oh, victory. Oh, victory conditions. Okay, yeah, it is what I thought it would be. It is destroy all the... Destroy all the... Or oh, not even destroy, just knock below 30%. Interesting. Yeah, so we've got to knock out all the enemy HQs. That is what I thought it would be. Right. The uh, supply ship is out on another uh, transport run. Listening. We're actually going to build another one. That's uh, the first thing today, I think. I think it'd be good to have two of those. One running out in a different direction. They shouldn't need to make runs too often. But if we've got two, that should mean we can make the refunds very quickly. Uh, I'm also going to properly designate the space transport with a proper number because it does deserve it. It has already proven to be a functional craft. Uh, and what I'm thinking is we'll maybe do this episode of, of uh, battling battling and, and pushing forwards and need it. And then we'll maybe do the episode after that. We'll maybe start work on a, on a space warship of some sort. I'm thinking... I know it's a cliche for me, but I think it'll probably be a missile bombardment ship. But we'll we shall see. I'll have a consider through my options. Problem is because we're quite a long way up. Lasers are a bad idea. Guns you have to deal with the recoil. Um, though they aren't a complete non-starter. We could potentially maybe even do little bomb launchers, like unguided missiles with magnetic uh, bomb guidance. Yeah, I love how fast this thing is as well. Those those eight um, no sixteen iron engines do give it quite a kick. But again, that was the whole point. That plate is supposed to uh, protect it from attack if it's stacked from beneath. But frankly, I think this thing's best uh, defense will just be being too fast to catch, frankly. Um, so if you go out to here, out. out to here, out. and out to there, out. and then come back. Out. He's making a bit of a longer trip. Now the one we've already spent out, sent out. You're now going to want to keep to max resources. Listening. Same for you. If you do want to be on max energy, though, Listening. because you are electrically powered, not that that should be a problem. How's our capturing going? We're capturing multiple spots. Listening. The gatherer is working. The repair officer is slowly moving. Sift is capturing. Where is the sky ray? The sky rays are here. I think I'd like to do a bit of offensive recon. So what we're going to do... We're going to spawn in my uh, flagship, the uh, torpedo uh, sky ray. Ah, it does have an antenna on the back. Okay, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this thing to fly higher. I think it's uh, max altitude is limited by the altitude set in the AI. Which I cannot remember where I buried it. I believe it's towards the back. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Uh, so I'm going to set this one to be able to fly higher. Uh, I'll set it to 450. Let this one fly above the others. Um, going to ascend now? Not recorded max. 147. How do I... How do I tell it to go up? I'll thrust 25. It's not idling. It should be at max. Um... Hmm. Can I, tell, can I tell them to fly any higher? Yeah, they can. Okay. Moving out. Now, what have we got here? We have a bit of a fleet there. We could potentially try taking that on. They've got some kind of base there, by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. Let's have a, a bit of a larger battle. Why not? We'll have one of those for a little bit. Let's send the Sky Rays up against a large force and see how we, uh, see how we do. If we need to repair them, we can. We're actually finally gathering commodities as of last episode. Or at least we should be. Ah. It's already eaten up all the resources, I see. 
Moving out. Yeah, it should be 75% efficient when it comes to the uh, commodities, so... Although the uh, transports are actually 100% efficient, they don't burn any fuel. But I think they might have to stop occasionally to recharge, basically. Right, let's fight that mass of ships. They have got a base of some kind there. What is that? Oil refinery platform. Okay. Flipping. Flipping. We'll be starting Flipping. at some range. Okay, begin the battle. Oh. I see. Because of the battle size, it's only spawned one in. Um... has it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, because they're already taking volume. Yeah, that's right. They're not very big. They're wide and flat, but they're not actually very high or very substantially sized crafts. It looks like they decided to focus on the flying thing first. What even is that? Oh, is that another uh, oh, parapet? Ah, it's another one of those flying castles. Okay. So what have we got down here? We've got a warden. Mortar boat? Maybe? That's an interesting looking fella. Okay. It's got big vertical turrets. This? Winter's Day? That barely even looks like a... What is this? This doesn't even look like an Onyx Watchcraft. An ocean liner or something with that. Um, it's like a yacht, maybe. What have we got here? This is a... a lance. I can sort of get that with a big frontal gun. Chubby side cannon. Uh, what's over here? Ah, and this is their refinery buildings and things. And this is adorable, but trust that is super cute. I do like that. Yes, I think you guys did actually pick a good first target there, and I think you've already downed it, frankly. The sky rays, in theory, should be the sort of target that the uh, the Onyx Watch hate, because while the crown cannons are very powerful, they have to hit quite fast-moving targets. Okay, you killed that. Focus on that next. Yeah, that is definitely a mortar craft. Probably the wrong target, if anything, to focus on. Yeah, actually, maybe that. That's exactly the hit stuff on them. I wonder if that was something new spawning, or if it's lagging because the old one's dying. Or because one of ours just suffered a big explosion and we did drop to 95. Dang, I didn't realise three Sky Rays acting together was <laughs> it was this potent, though. Like, they might lose this still. Don't get me wrong, but the amount of fights, the three of them have won together. Oh, yeah, that one's dead. I don't know whether they're burning out AI cores or just doing enough damage in general, but... There could also be torpedoes in the water, I can't see, but... It should be, if, they, if my one's working as intended. Group of you on your own weapon four, I think. There goes the torpedoes. They seem to have locks. I'm actually not sure why my ship has drifted so far out of, out of bounds compared to the others. Listening. Have I accidentally screwed up its navigation by changing this stuff? Uh, oh no, I'm not flying too far off. Oh my, I'm not on board the torpedo one. Yeah, have I screwed up the torpedo one's navigation? It's miles away. Listening. Yeah, okay, maybe it shouldn't be able to fly that high up. Let's set combat altitude back down to 150. Yeah, maybe the air is growing too thin up here for it to steer properly. It is dropping decoys, as it should. So no blues, as it should. Come on, big fella, turn around. Yeah, it is turning around. Listening. Oh dear. Okay, so that might be why they were flying low. It might be because their, their rudders don't work. Unless they get too high.
So it looks like they've been doing an okay job down here. The other one gone is too, right? It's over there. Okay. You seem to be engaging at very long range at the moment, but I suppose it's working. Oh yeah, now the refinery's taking hits. Or the gatherer thing, what is it called? Or refinery platform yet. That's been quite an important resource point to them, because they had a lot of guards on it. Not quite sure how the AI values it, but... Excuse me? Maybe I'll see a white laser beam for half a second? Yeah, what was that? That's the second one I've seen now. Listening. Control yours. Moving out. Are you are you okay? It's turning very badly. Have I broken something by changing the AI? Kind of up to 100%. Then for this one. Yeah, there's something weird going on with the, with the torpedo one. I think I've damaged something. Also set max altitude to 150 as well. Oh, yeah, it's way too high still. Okay, yeah, send down to 50% again, just in case. That's also screwing it up. Yeah, now it's turning. That's a bit better. Just damaging itself because of the torpedo. I hate the way the torpedoes get stuck on this thing as well. I really need to fix that. We might have to redesign the launchers or... Is that projectors? If it doesn't have ejectors, it should at least have safety fuses. Yeah, the battle's over anyway. The others finished it. Oh, wow, and it's drifted way off course. Ships everywhere here. Alcazar, Catapult, Telemachus. That I recognize. Spear again. Listening. Moving out. Yeah, maybe head to head there and repair. What resources have you got left? Also a brood mother there. Right. I guess the Skyrays can stay in our enemy territory for the moment. Lifting. Sifter, Moving you can go to there. Lifting. Receiving. Surface fleet, you can Moving go to there. Down. So yeah, you can go to there, Moving actually, down. in that case. Lifting. Moving out. You guys can potentially go to there and start a fight. Moving out. Actually, Moving out. let's fix the torpedo fly race thing on the move. Today we'll do a we'll do a little bit of maintenance. Right, so yeah, as we say, the launch. Oh, mind you, it needs to be fully alive as well. Let's maybe add some uh, air bots. Let's say not on the turret. Enemy territory. Ah. Okay, so I have to. I have to pull back Moving towards. Me. Yeah. Moving out. Let's do that. We did not want them to fight. Lost City of Serenity. Ah. That's what we actually captured there. Right. Receiving. Moving now. Listening. Moving out. Yeah, let's get you back to friendly territory, or friendly enough. Oh, yes, I can't repair properly as well. Okay. Right. Let's respawn that one. Let's fix those torpedoes, because they keep hitting it. And you need to not do that. Right, so. 
what I'm thinking is ejectors, and we also put a bit of a downward slant on them, so they should gun downwards into the water, basically. Like a very shallow downwards ejection. Okay, so we might have to also chop a little bit out of the hull to make this work. It's wandered out of territory again. Out of there, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Okay. So apparently there's a resource gathering point here. That is incredibly reinforced. What the heck? How did we miss this? Viceroy. Which is not huge. This is not where we want to be. You guys are going to have to come and help this, regardless of what state you're in, even with holes in your armor from the repairs. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to start this fight. So I don't know that they're going to reach us, even with their speed, before they are ready to go. This is not ideal. I have a feeling we're about to lose the surface fleet. Yeah, we've got a little bit larger for this battle, because this is a big one, apparently. Although we have the overwhelming size advantage, at least, but that's probably 90% from you. Oh, wow, and the um, heavy cruiser isn't loaded in because it's slightly too low. It's already down a gun turret or two. Right, so we need to pick a target before we even start. But let's get a look at what we're fighting. Okay, so the Onyx Watcher here too. So we have an Esther Bees. We have a Cyclops. Is that called that because it has one very nasty gun in the middle? No. Okay. That's a brood mother, I believe. Yep, that'll spawn smaller craft over time, which could potentially be a problem later. This I don't recognise. A begetter. Oh, that's changed a bit. I know the name. That looks like a missile boat. Yeah, that's priority. Missile's that big. That is our priority. In case you didn't get it. Priority. Oh, God. Oh, God. Explosions are happening immediately. Oh. Uh. Oh no, something they've got is punching through us. Yeah, I think we're going to lose the surface fleet here. Or maybe that was just a fluke? Oh, they tell me it was our own shots. Tell me we're shooting ourselves in the back. I need to move some of our ships back a bit further. Clearly. I think that was our um, hatchet shooting the uh, other guy in the back. Right. You're in control. Moving now. Need some manual movement here. You're in control. Moving now. Split up. What the heck is that? Who is... I'm sorry, who's firing this? Oh, the Broodmother's got a giant laser array. I see. Okay. Um, yeah, not much we can do about that for the moment. Oh, we killed something. Okay, that's dead already. Yeah, uh, that's probably next target then. Engaging now. Oh yeah, there's laser noise. Look at that lamb's defense. All focused on a single missile, but they apparently can't hurt. Oh, wait, no, that's the torpedo, isn't it? Oh, our battleship's taking a lot of damage. Oh, good torpedo hit. I think we're about to get another one. We've stinked its engine. Just a wee bit. Okay, I think this is actually going okay. I thought this might be a lot worse, but... When there's immediate explosions, but I have a horrible feeling that was actually the hatchet sh shooting the battleship in the back. <laughs> Not actually enemy fire, those ones. Oh, now the Onyxwatch Castle's getting in the way. Excellent. Oh, of course, now it holds fire. With a failsafe working, then. Not that ours cares, because they're both enemies. Oh, we just lost something. Did we lose the battleship? No, we lost the hatchet. Is it actually dead? I can only assume it is. 
Yeah, that one stopped firing, but it's not dead either. That's interesting. See so death text on it anywhere. Where is it? This one. That one looks worse, but that one's also still moving. Oh, whoa. Is there a mobula here? Is there a mobula here and I didn't even notice it? Is there a mobula? Oh, that's the Viceroy. Okay. Oh, right. Yes, if you pause. This is that you can cheese a little bit, actually. But if you pause, yeah, while a vehicle's being destroyed, it'll actually unload while the game's paused. So you can actually kind of kill vehicles a little faster with that. Also, there's another one of these. I guess maybe they all, they all spawned at once. They hadn't all spawned at once, I should say. Yeah, I think that hatch is dead. The other one is fighting, but I'm not sure how much of it is left. Yeah, we did take some heavy damage, as I expected. This is not really a force they're meant to fight, but they did okay. Twin Guard have certainly got some interesting looking designs. I love the hammerhead. So sort of shape on that. It looks very sleek. Oh, didn't necessarily save it much. In our case, it's sheer redundant armor, as I think saved us here, even if we lost the gun. Everything else is still working, pretty much. Radar Mast, amazingly, is actually undamaged by the look of it, apart from a little bit of damage at the rear. Flat guns are going off against the drones. Yeah, good work. Take to your fellowships. What are these things fighting with? Oh, got tiny little missile launchers. They're very cute looking. <laughs> There's definitely some great personality with the enemy ships. I mean, they always look good, but they've really improved recently. Especially with this playthrough. Oh yeah, we're basically finding flat grounds. Probably only one near miss would be a one clip of one of those. Yep, yeah, it's probably enough to kill them. Stain by repairs, which I don't think are going to help much longer. Oh, there it goes. Wait, no, did, was oh maybe it was the other hatchet. The other one's gone. No, it's still there. Okay. Despite damage, and I guess despite AI death, well that one's still firing its lasers, so I guess it is this one, but. For whatever reason, it stopped dead. And I thought that was because we were on board before. But we're not on board that one, and it's not dying. We're on board the battleship. So I don't know what's going on there, actually. That's kind of interesting. If that, if that, is, a, that is a question for you in the comments. You seem to be very knowledgeable about this game. Any idea why the two hatchets are still alive, despite the fact one is apparently AI dead? I thought that was an automatic kill, but... Maybe something's changed there. Wow, okay. Captain Nick's last request. Still shrouded his intentions. Let the Sarah at the sea, so request his ashes to be laid to rest among the things here. Tourist destination, I see. Receiving. Okay, I didn't think we were going to survive that. The Sky Rays are on their way to try and save them, but I guess they can go and attack that stockade. Right. Yes, we can get back to what we're doing. Fixing the launchers. Which we need to do because the hull's currently cut open on this one. Uh, what is it? Control X. Uh, delete all that should only delete that one, right? Yes, okay. Delete it on both sides? No, okay. That's fine, we only need to be able to see for a little bit and then we can put it back. Uh, or we might, might not even worry about that. Distinguish it a little bit more from the other aircraft. Yeah, that is all of them. Like I say, we'll put a bit of a downward slant on it. What I'm thinking we'll do is... Oh. There you go. Cover it with a decoration. It won't be as solid. Not for the moment. We will fix that in a sec, but yeah, it won't be as solid, but should fill the gap at least. Oh, and there's two of them. 
We'll see if just having the ejectors works. If we leave them separate, then we can see if it's helping it or not. We better start that next fight. Ah, no rest at the moment. Oh, boy. No rest for the surface fleet at all. There's, two, there's more ships on the way already. A spite, which is not very big at all. And I think a little singular drone. So this is the drone swarm, and then there's a single other ship. Spite. Oh, is that a submarine? Oh, it's fine. We've got torpedoes. We should be okay. Uh, what are these? Slivers. Oh, slivers, not silvers. They're quite cute. I like the little military head. I'm a trooper from the depths. A little bit. Uh, okay, we're taking damage. Yeah, I was still dead on that one, apparently. Oh, EMP. Oh boy, okay. Hopefully we're somewhat resilient to this. We'll slow down. We lost another big gun at some point. I don't think that was us. I think that was whatever that was dying over there. Sea Wiz is trying, but they find lots of light missiles, and I do not think the Sea Wiz is running at its strongest. Whoa! Is that a fast sticker? Wow, the slivers are quick. Let's... What is that submarine thing? It's there. Have we got torpedoes off on it? We saw more the battleship? Hmm. Must have shot my chair. Right. I don't really mind what it prioritizes, but we need to kill one of these things. Seawiz on that is still working, as is the laser. Laser Seawiz. Ah, uh, here goes the torpedo. Okay, let's see if we can sink it with that. And that torpedo is still working as intended. Let's see if he's going to roll to an angle like that. That's not going to help him much. Shot off an entire thruster pod? One of those drones is flying through the air, apparently. Okay. Too low. Yeah, that's not going to help him either. Ah, this one's out of control, you don't say. Looks like he's having fun. Perhaps not so much now. Well, not bad for having one ship completely out of commission. Oh well, my god, look at it. It's dreadful condition. At least the front of the hull is. That one's... This one might be even worse. Look at that wound. Oh, that's bad. Oh, and the... I think that was a friendly torpedo hit. Looking at you over here, battleship. He even looks like he's got a bit bit of an eye gazing out at me through that hole in the uh, front. I think it's my uh, the remains of my seat. Right. I feel like we could reinforce that frontal section. It does seem to take a lot of fire. But, however, I think it's also a good time to finish. So we're going to save up there for today. I think next time we'll try and do some vehicle construction. Hopefully you're also enjoying... Uh, hopefully it's not going to get a bit stale or anything, and I'll see you guys all again next time. Goodbye.